Sabaho everybody and welcome back to the channel. I've had the Honor 8 for a while now and it's by far one of the best devices that I've had for a while. Um, and one of the main things I really am excited about today is the fact that we actually get Nougat on our device. It's a, an early release beta uh, sign up kind of thing. You have to sign up for it and provide your IMEI and some information to be able to even qualify to be able to download this. But I finally have the update. It's telling me it's ready to install on my device. So let's go ahead and check it out. One of the main prerequisites to be able to actually flash or get the NuGet uh, base uh, ROM here on the Honor 8 uh, is to make sure that you're restored back to stock. So I've unrooted my device, I've removed to expose, I went back to a stock recovery. And then the main benefit, of course, here is you'll go straight into the updater and then update the latest version of the ROM. So first thing here, the current version that I have is the L04C567B162. You have to have this version for it to be able to even give you the ability to go into the NuGet one. And then that's going to update us to FRD L04 C56 7B317 and that will be our operating system. It was a 2.5 gig download um, and of course it gives us change log and pretty much just says it's Emotion UI 5.0 base and Android Nougat 7.0. It's going to restart the device for me right now and it's going to go through the update process. So for comparison, just to kind of start off correctly, I still have Emotion UI 4.1 right here on the on this Honor for 8, and then this one I get replicated directly into NuGet. Uh, let's go ahead and unlock devices. The lock screen looked pretty much the same. Uh, looks like the font a little bit on the top right started, it was a, is a little bit smaller as far as the font. Let's unlock. Um, icon pack, pretty much the same. Uh, we still have the same interface as far as the, we don't have the ability of having an app launcher, so it still looks pretty much the same at this point, at least at this point. Um, and then we have the same icon uh, setting. The dialer looks pretty much the same. Yeah, pretty much. And then let's go ahead and open up the camera. Now, this is the new interface camera. You notice it did change the icon, the camera, the video, and then it shows the gallery. Uh, we still have the ability of using the functionalities that we had before. Let me just go ahead and turn on. Here it is. So they changed the slider at, uh, on this point. So where we used to be able to just tap to focus and then be able to slide on the unit itself, now we can actually bring it down. It still gives us that uh, child adaptive the field look. Well, it looks like it still works. Let's go into the gallery application. The gallery, it looks like we do have a new gallery. Let's go ahead and open up the old gallery on this one. Uh, the aesthetics, we used to have photo album. Now we have photo album and discover. So we have slightly different options here. I'm assuming this is for a uh, group by places. So more organization, which label to actually access. We'll go back here. Uh, the other thing I want to mention to you guys, of course, again, the launcher is pretty much the same, same fluid launcher. The notification shade did change. For one pull down takes us straight into the notification shade. This is kind of new with uh, proprietary. You have the notification here on the, on the left side, the shortcuts on the right, and the current version of EMUI. Now everything is in the one side and then pulling one more time gives us the access to all of the notification shades and you notice by default they're a much smaller uh, configuration you fit a lot more here on the screen uh, we still have screen recording nfc is obviously turned on by default wi-fi sound and we can edit them uh, the only thing that was missing here really is nearby and i can cancel that for now we'll go back and um, overall very nice and we have the uh, the slider here for the screen um, i'm gonna take a while let it go back uh, let's go into the settings tab shortcut settings here we just go settings um, we'll start off from the beginning so we have the ability of searching screen lock um, add another email account this is just the suggestions from nougat uh, so i'm not going to really engage too much of them so we still have airplane all the system settings mobile data you notice that the icons are a little bit different a little bit bigger on the screen um, as far as the home screen home screen style let's go to standard and let's go in here drawer oh look at that we now actually have access to an app drawer so let's go back. When I selected it, it'll take us back home. And I'm going to go here. You notice we only had two options here. We either had a standard or a simple. So now we actually have the ability of going into an app drawer. Look at that. We actually have an app drawer. I'm really excited about this. We have an app drawer on our system. This is something that I'm not even used to seeing. So let's go back into the settings and see what else uh, we see some new things in here. Um, let's go back to home screen style. We'll go back. Uh, so display, sound, notification, uh, navigation, of course. We have the ability of customizing our notification buttons. I think that's been normal there. Uh, screen fingerprint, uh, let's go into here. Fingerprint uh, gestures, let's go back. Uh, fingerprint management, answer call, stop call, 
um, show notification panel. We can swipe down, browse photos, of course. So let's go ahead and use that and check it out. Yep, still works perfectly. So a lot of the gestures that we really liked on the Honor 8 are still there. Uh, let's go into, uh, let's see, we'll keep it in this side. So accounts is separate by itself now, where it used to be grouped here with the Huawei ID um, and Google. Now, again, this is the uh, L09 model. This is the European model. So you may see different names here. This is the US-based model, the L04. And again, accounts, uh, permissions, battery, apps, tw uh, oh, app twin. That's interesting. Oh, the ability to be able to log into the same apps with two different accounts. So we have WhatsApp and Facebook this, uh, turned on by default. And I don't think we had the app twins option here directly within the system. Um, as far as the updater, we'll go in EMUI 5.0, current version here. And then, like I said before, we talked about the version. Um, oh, so we now have the ability of going for checking for updates, and that's it. We no longer have the ability of downloading latest full package, update settings, or system information. But we have dates, security, printing, mirror share. Uh, let's go back here, data transmission. I mean, honestly, overall, it looks pretty good. Swiping, uh, we don't really have any gestures still. Uh, the camera looks like it's improved as far as the UI. I've noticed a lot of good improvement here. Um, just overall, just to be able to use it straight out of the box. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this. Switch it over to front facing. Come on. Yes, of course we can. And that uh, looks pretty good. Really no, no, no real complaining here. I'll have to check that out. But let's go ahead and see the multitask. Let's press and hold. So. We'll go Recents. You notice that the Recents tab now changed. It's no longer the card style UI. We have it and we actually have it there right here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of applications that we can actually use. Also Gallery and I'll open up Chrome. Those should be able to run in multitask. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold. And then of course, yes, in all fashion, we have the ability of running two different applications at the same time. Of course, I'm not connected to the network. That's why it's not working. Uh, but again, main benefit here, again, is that just now we have the ability of using this. And of course, tapping it twice, brings it back, tapping it twice, brings back, and then going home. And it, it just works the way you think Nougat needs to run. Very nice, very quick look at the Honor 8 running, um, you know, again, Emotion UI 5.0 with Nougat. This is Emotion UI 4.1 with Android 6.0. By far, the best feature here is that we lost the simple drawer. We have standard and drawer for version of our launcher. And I have right there, this is a drawer. I mean, we are actually able to, not only that, we can uh, search, we can hold. Uh, let's actually press and hold and see how the launcher looks like here. Wallpaper, widget, transitions. Uh, we still have the ability to go into settings. We do have now have app suggestions, which we didn't have. Badge icon, shake, align, auto align, and then of course the ability of changing our grid size is pretty much still there. I'll go ahead and change that here and go to five by five. Much, much, much better. Initial impressions of the Nougat implementation on the Honor 8 is very, very nice. It's, uh, it was actually a quick update going straight in, uh, installing 2.5 gigs worth of an update on my, on, uh, on my device. I didn't lose any of my data. All the information was still there. So the internal storage as well as the SD card did not get formatted. Um, I like the fact that the lock screen functionality now works. I can actually interact with the notifications. I can dismiss them if I don't need, the, uh, need to interact with them, which was something that always bugged me about the 4.1 implementation of the MUI. Um, Again, very, very nice, very quick. I'll do a little bit more testing with this. As Again, I want to see how the signal strength is, GPS, all the different things that I cannot test directly in the office just by sitting here. Um, definitely very nice. I'll give you guys links in the description below to be able to sign up for the beta if you guys are interested. It is available around the world in different places. So in the US, in Europe, um, and I think in India, I'm not sure, but different places, you just have to sign up for it, provide your information, and you'll be able to get the update pushed through. And it will come as, as an OTA to your device. Just make sure you're updated to the latest ROM. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you guys in the next one.